<laughs> Hi, Menelakos. Hello, Hello. <laughs> Macro. That was that was a good attempt to my name. <laughs> <laughs> Menelakos. What is it? What's if you if you take the K out, it's pretty close. Menelaos. Menelaos. Yes. Right. So yeah, please introduce yourself a little bit. Uh, my name is Menelaos. I um, I'm from Greece and I run Improvive. Greece is. Uh, one and only uh, improv school in theater. It's been uh, it's been going on for about three years now. I I first started improv in uh, the U.S. mainly Austin, Texas. Hello, the hideout theater. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's it's kind of all gone downhill from there or uphill. I don't know. So one of the two. <laughs> yeah. So we are here in the festival in Amsterdam and. What's your impression about here? Yeah, the the twentieth. Festival in Amsterdam, which is my first here in Amsterdam. I, I haven't been here uh, before. And unfortunately, because I had shows in Belgium uh, till Monday and I got shows in Greece on, on Friday, I can't stay all that long. But uh, but it's good. Some really great people here. It's shit loads of people. Loads of people. <laughs> it's it's great. Um, I like it. Great vibe. And um, do you take something with you to, to Greece or what? Uh What's your idea to come here? A t-shirt. A t-shirt, yes. <laughs> That's the most important yeah. thing. Um, more than anything, uh, I came up with my troop mates, um, Billy. Uh, we're we're Basque, a two-person two troop. So it's her first time seeing improv outside of Greece. So I wanted her to, to get some inspiration. But at the same time, every single festival I attend, I find people that do improv in completely different ways that maybe I have ever seen uh, before. So meeting people, uh, seeing shows that are of a completely different style than what we're used to, um, getting getting to know some uh, some people's teaching styles, uh, always useful, always fun. Yeah, and um, how big is improv in Greece? It's really growing, yeah, it's growing. Considering the fact that two and a half years ago, uh, let's say summer of 2012, there was no improv whatsoever in Greece. Uh, I moved back to Greece and I found no improv schools, no improv theaters, no improv troops whatsoever. People don't even know what the art form of improv comedy theater is. Uh, it's been growing a lot since, uh, since we started the school. We have a continuous influx of students. We are, we're a community of about 250 strong now which they're not all active but they're all involved in one way or another and con considering that that happens in two and a half years yeah we're, we're really amazing. proud of that yeah we got a weekly show uh at a big theater we have a weekly improv jam um and much much more things coming and uh, the people uh, start to knowing what is improv or yeah um yeah they uh, they appreciate it in all levels, because the way that we approach it uh, at Improvibe is very much along um, applied improv. So we teach the art form, but we focus a lot on the applied aspects of it and how you to use it in your in your daily life. So people appreciate all that, but also they're getting really passionate for the theatrical aspect of it as well. So uh, a lot of troops start forming, and we give them opportunities to play in uh, in various theaters um, around Athens. We even have one from northern Greece that is actually coming to play with us soon uh, in Athens. So they're, they're getting really excited. A lot of them try to go to festivals, can't really afford it, you know. Greece is not really doing all that well financial wise right yeah. now. But uh, they're trying, they're, they really want to learn more and to play more and to get to know more people. Yeah, sounds really cool. Yeah, uh, the first <laughs> festival of Athens should be coming. Oh, is it a promise? It is a promise. Yeah. It is a promise to to us and to you <laughs> yes. as well, because we really want it to happen. Yeah, uh, fantastic. Um, another thing you do or you have done mm -hmm. in the last year, I think, is Impro World. Yes. Um, Improworld.com uh, is is this site that. Um, that I've built, which kind of brings together all improv events around the world. Because since I started doing improv and I, um, and I was visiting other cities or other countries, I was wondering what is there? Um, what, kind of, uh, what kind of events 
uh, if I if I go to a certain city, what will I find during those days? And there wasn't one collective source of that information. Uh, everybody was asking for one, and there wasn't one. So I thought, why not do it? <laughs> so uh, so I I built the uh, the website, uh, and it's supposed to contain every uh, every event, every every improv related event around the world, uh, broken down in festivals, workshops, and shows. Uh, it's slowly getting everything uh, in there. We get submissions in all the time. And the idea is that people can actually submit their own events. Yeah, I think yeah. if you want to do it by yourself, then you... It's, you so much, it, it's yeah. already so much work. Yeah. So uh, we actually need people's uh, help in any way. And it all starts by you have an event, come into improworld.com, submit it, and we'll advertise it straight away. Uh, are you a software developer or something? I used to be. Uh, that's that's what my degree is in. I, I worked as a software developer for about six months. I hated it <laughs> and I just quit it. But it's good knowledge to have. I can actually work on these things for my own projects when I choose to. So what um, is the benefits to bring up um, an event on your site? Maybe that's, that's a good question to, to bring it on up. Um, we, uh, we want people to start connecting more. Uh, we want, uh, especially in Europe, that there are so many countries that are actually close together. We want to be able to coordinate. I know a lot of people from the US or Canada or Australia travel and uh, do improv in Europe and it would be great to be able to coordinate things. Uh, and I gotta be honest, it started as a little bit of a selfish thought because I do want to plan um, uh, the first uh, improv festival in Athens, Greece. And I wouldn't want it to overlap with other events. How can I know though when are those events? So we can actually plan it a hell of a lot better. Um, people can get exposure for their events on a global scale because we get visits from all around the world uh, in improv world. So um, people can know more about festivals. They want to attend a festival, maybe in a country nearby, they can go in there and find it. And at the same time, if somebody's planning a tour, they can actually. Uh, see what there is and can book it in there and people can find out about it accordingly. Uh, people can um, can plan their impro holidays uh, by knowing exactly what there is, where and when. Yeah. Uh, I really like the idea and I think it's, it's really needed because I do it for Germany so I collect uh, data from festivals and from shows and it's horrible. It's <laughs> The websites of improv groups are really horrible. Uh, it's uh, It takes a hell of a lot of work, that's true. <laughs> and I have been contacted by people saying, hey, I have done this for my country, this is our website, how can we connect all this? Which we try and find ways to do. We try and find ways to incorporate uh, all events that are posted in such and such website to bring it in, and another website, and this other website to have it all collected. Hey. Hello, hello, that, that was uh, Stan. So, did I say it right, Stan? <laughs> yes, yeah. Good, I was close. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I know who you are. I'm Menelaus. Again? Menelaus. Menelaus. Yes. Okay. Hi, I'm Macro. Macro. And you can. Uh, Say hello to the world. Yeah. Oh, you're doing an interview. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. We have guest stars. We didn't even know it. Yeah. And yeah, yesterday we have seen an action improv on the main stage, and um, it was quite cool. You can read about at Improv News. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Please upload. Yes, Improv News. <laughs> yeah. Um, good question is how can people help you? with things other than bring their own events in it. Is there possibilities? Yes, there is. Uh, our main problem right now is that uh, we haven't managed to, um, to create some sort of a mechanism for recurring events. So if a show happens every week or if a workshop happens every month, I have to do it manually. Yeah. Uh, so if somebody wants to help either developing that or even copying the recurring events and following the procedure that I follow, uh, that would help eventually. So, if you have time and you want to put some in improworld.com, please get in touch. Please, please, please. Which uh, language is it? Uh, it's all in English. I mean, oh, programming, programming language. Yeah. Uh, WordPress programming. Yes. Okay. That so sounds feasible. It's PHP. Yes. So yeah, exactly. So uh, all plugins are uh, 
pretty much PHP, I'd say. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, we will ask around. I know a lot of improv people uh, which are developers. So That would, that would help immensely, yes. We would love you forever. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's what is on my list. Do we have something more would you like to share? Um, I don't know, I think that's just about it. Uh, Improv in Greece is growing. Uh, please do come and visit it. We have shows all the time. We welcome teachers because we bring in foreign teachers uh, all the time. Uh, our students need more influences, more external uh, influences. So we're trying to put Greece uh, on the world map of improv. Uh, it's very new, but uh, we're all very passionate, so we're trying to grow more and more and more. Uh, come to Greece, see what improv is like. Any language, we welcome anything. It'll work beautifully. So, yeah, then, thank you, Menelaus. Thank you, that was fantastic. It's okay. I shall be seeing you in Germany or in another festival. Yeah, um, I think we will manage that. 